can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. T over here. The uniform craft has a mass of 150 kilograms. If the coefficient of satisfaction between a craft crate and the floor is mu equals 0 0.2, we determine the smallest uh, mass of the man so he can move the crate. The coefficient of satisfaction between his shoes and the floor is mu equals 0 0.45. Assume the man exerts excuse me, only a horizontal force on the crate. Alright, um, so yeah, as always, this is uh, you know a different version of um, question 49. If you haven't done that, I suggest you don't do that one um, as a practice. So uh, yeah, draw the free body diagram out. You know, the for a man pushing on a box sort of a question. It's always great to separate, uh, separately draw the free body free body diagram of two system. Right, the man, which is over here. I did not draw the person because I can't draw. And, um, well, I can, but you just probably won't recognize as a man. Anyway, and, um, and this side is the F, uh, free body diagram uh, for the crate. So it's pretty simple. So since we can't use, uh, so when you plan out, right, you, you have to decide, okay, which way should I start? Now, if you start both, you will eventually get the answer, right? It's obvious. But, you know, which one to choose uh, will give you an easier time. So over here we'll look at, you know, we have the mass which is uh, equals the, and right, I mean, sorry. So we have the mass, right, of the person. I don't know why there's an N equals box over there. Oh, maybe I copied the free body guy from the previous question. Anyway, so yeah, men of the box, uh, the, the normal force is dependent on the force, therefore the friction force is dependent on the normal force and P is totally dependent on friction, right? Using the sum of the forces in X and Y direction. So it's basically undoable without the mass, right? Just solve anything over here. So it's better to start over here because we have the mass, right? And therefore the normal and friction, you know, depends on the mass, right? Treat these three as one, right? Because, you know, if we know this and we know that, you know, the statics uh, coefficient of uh, friction over here, then we can solve these two forces just with one given force, right? One given information. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So over here, uh, let's do the crate. So we can use uh, some of the, oops, wrong color. Let's change it to white. So uh, some of the forces in the y direction, right, going upwards is positive, uh, equals to zero. So that is 150 kilograms times the acceleration due to gravity. And that, that is minus, this is plus uh, normal force of the box. And uh, these two are the only forces that's going into the uh, y direction. Whole thing equals to zero. So, and the normal force of the box should be 1,471.5 newtons, right? Newtons. And um, now use the sum of the forces in the x direction over here equals to zero, uh, which is friction over here. So it's the uh, 1,481.5 newtons times the static coefficient of friction, 0 0.2. Uh, this is going to the left, so it's negative plus the P force over here, right, the force being pushed, and that is equals to zero. So P, theoretically, right, if, we're, if we want, to want this box to move, it has to be just about to, it has to be 294.3 newtons, right? Only if the force is just a tiny bit bigger than this, right? If we just exert this force, this box, this crate is about to move, right? So if we draw a graph, right, and this is the this is the amount of force you know exerted on the box, so the pushing force, and this is the stat, uh, this is the friction force, right? Uh, friction force. It will go up and up and up and up and up, and boom, it hits a point over here, which is the moving point, right? This is the status friction at its at its um, highest force it can exert exert the force uh, push force. And then it will go down a little bit, and this is where 
the so you know after this goes on forever this is when the box is moving right and then it will just you know stays constant and this is the statics of friction which you will learn in the futures lessons of dynamics but so yeah the 294.3 this is that this point which is exactly what the um, force is asking for right once we just add like an infinitely small force it will start moving right this is the um, the changing point right the moving point so now we find we have um, P we can plug it over here, right? This is the amount of force that we want to push on. So P is, uh, here equals to 294.3. Uh, and uh, now we can use the friction force. So let's draw the connection, right? Friction force over here, friction of a person is equals is equals to 0 0.45 times his body force, right? Well, the normal force of a person and the normal force a normal force between his uh, his feet and the ground uh, is equal to the mass of the person the, the you know the force of the person exists exerts to the ground right because there's only one force that's going into the y that's counteract the normal force over here these two are just draw it out because he has two feet but we can simplify it to one right it's not really important to draw two forces over here um, so in Person. So that is equals to the mass times acceleration to the gravity, right? And we can plug this into here and friction. So some of the forces uh, in the x in the y direction. I mean, sorry, in the x x direction over here, right? I uh, equals to zero. So it goes to the right is positive. Uh, this so friction 0 0.45 times the normal force which is times the mass of the person times 9.81 meter uh, times second this is going to the positive and uh, minus the P force which was calculated over here 294.3 newtons this whole thing equals to zero move this to the right everything is positive this is a time not a minus and divided by 0 0.5, 0 0.45, and divided by 9.81, mass should give you 66.6. Uh, um, repeat digits, kilograms or 66.7. Right? It's safe to say it goes over. Right? You can't round it down. Even so, in the future, right? If this is 66.49, you can't round it down to, you know. 66.4 right you have to round up because oh sorry if this is 66.45 uh, 44 it still has to be you know 66.5 because if you go lower than the weight the, the weight required then it will never move the force right it has to be over than that if you take an IB like IB physics um, during high school like special higher levels you know they will have little tricks um, like that, and, you know, they, they all, you know, for the question banks, right, at the end, they will say, oh, specifically say, oh, if the force has to be bigger, blah, 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 you know, just because of logic. Anyway, um, but if you're taking, you know, statics and not an MIT, which your professor, you know, could be crazy, then you, you should be fine, right? Don't worry about it too much, but, you know, it's just a good information to know if you want to become an engineer in the future, small calculation matters a lot. So anyway, hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, good luck on your studies. I'll see you in my future videos. Uh, bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.